Um, so we're going to do changing decimals, okay, to remember decimals which repeat, or decimals which just stop or terminate, so like 0 0.25. We can change these, we can write these as fractions, okay, um, so that makes them rational numbers, okay. Um, we need to do a little bit of a recap on face value. So if this is our decimal point, what does this column represent in our face value, uh, Enrique? Is it a 10? It's not a 10. No. A hundreds? No. Not hundreds. Ah. So what are all the possibilities? We've got what possibilities? We've got tenths, which ah. is what uh, Enrique said. Tenths. Hundreds. Thousands. We've got hundreds. What other possibilities do we have? Uh, Oscar? Thousands. Okay, thousands. Are these big numbers or are these little numbers? Little. Yeah, these are small numbers. What else? Ten thousand. What about some of the other? So we're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. What about a bit bigger? Ones. Yeah. We don't call them ones. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I call them. Tens. Units, right? We've got units that have to go somewhere. Yes. And what else? Yep. We've got tens. I said tens. We've got what else? What's up Somebody else? On both sides? Yeah. Oh, hundreds. Okay. We've got hundreds. Um, thousands. We've got thousands. And so on. Okay, so looking at this is our decimal point. We've got numbers to the left of the decimal point, we've got numbers to the right of the decimal point. This column here represents which one of these things, if I was to put... Come on, everybody needs to be focused. If I was to write this as the number 3, okay? So 3.0, okay? What does this 3 represent? 3 watts. Okay? 3 units, right. So this represents the units column. If I was to put a, make this number now, what number is this that I've just written down? Peter? What number is this that I've written? 23. 23, right. So what does this column represent? Better. Tens. And if I was to put another number in here, let's put the number one. Okay, this represents? Hundreds. Okay, because we've got, if we read the number 1, 100, 100 and 23, okay, 20 is, how many lots of tens is 20? Is it 2, okay, so we've got 2 tens, 3 units, okay, so, okay, okay. What would be the next one over here? Okay. One thousand. Okay. Thousands. Okay, thousands. So these are our big numbers. So if I was to write out, let's let me give you a number. All right. How many groups of ten do I have in that number tower? Yeah. How many groups of ten do I have in this number? Got six groups of ten, okay? How many units do I have, Brian? Yeah, six. I've got oh, four, 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 four. So, okay. Yeah. How many groups of one hundred do I have here? Uh, seven. seven, right. So if I was to read this, it's Ryan? Yes. Yeah. I've got seven. Read it out to me. Seven, hundred, six, and sixty-four, six, okay? Because it's six tens, okay? Six tens are? Six tens are sixty. Okay, right. So, on the other side of the decimal point, what is this column right there? Oh, uh, I forget. Okay? So it's one of these things. Which one is it going to be? Well, 
this is units of hang up hang up on the same side. Sit down. Sit. I have to speak to you again. I'm going to be putting in a notification. Okay, we're not doing that. Okay. What's this here? Okay, I need to figure out which column this represents, okay? It's going to be one of these things, okay? Bearing in mind, we started off small here, we get bigger. Set up straight. Okay, we're going to start small and uh, get even smaller. So, Enrique? Tenths. Tenths. This one is? Hundreds. Hundreds. And this one is? Thousands. Thousands. stuff that you have done in primary school. Yeah. Yet we uh, seem to have forgotten. Alright, so looking at this, let's write down a particular number. So I want you to copy this down please. Copy that now. In the boxes? Yeah, with the boxes in here. Else I write it. Right, and no, you don't need to write it down. Alright, so our zero goes in the units. We've got our decimal point underneath. That. We've got five and a tenths. So how many tenths do I have here? Five tenths. I have five tenths, okay? So I've got five groups of ten. ten. Or not ten, but tenths, okay? Five tenths. Now if I put a fraction five over ten, I do to this? You could all be looking at this thinking I can do something to it. Oh, yeah, Kai? Live, live, live. Yeah, I can. What's that called when I do that? Yeah, quite well. It's, it's, what? What's that called? What's, you know, what's the process called whenever I divide both sides here on this fraction by 5? It gives an S. Oh, I remember I done this thing. Yeah, you did. Um, Simplifying. Simplifying, right. Okay. 5 yeah. divided by 5 is? 1. 10 divided by two. Ten, 5 is? 2. two. two. So this gives us how we work out our decimals in the fractions, okay? Mm -hmm. If I pick a, another one, mm -hmm. let's have a look at uh, 0 0.8. So again, I've got my 0 under the units, I've got my decimal point. Where does the 8 go? Where the 5 is. Yeah, where the 5 is instead. Is that. <coughs> so if I wanted to change this into a fraction, how many groups of one tenth do I have, Tyler? Yep, I've got eight, so it's going to be eight over mm -hmm. eight over ten, right? Because it's eight over ten. It's eight groups of these one tenth. I can simplify that. That's going to give me, what do I divide top and bottom by? 8. Is 8 going to 10? 4. Right, divide top and bottom by 2. 2 goes into both 8. How many times does 2 go into 8? 4. How many times does 2 go into 10? 5. Right, so I get 4 over. Which can be simplified. Which cannot be simplified any further, right? What I want you to try is this one then. Okay, let 
times the zero point zero zero four. Okay, you try this one. zero units, we've got zero in the tenths column, which is good, and we've got four lots of hundreds. Okay, so there's our number. So, what do you think pattern? What should I write? How am I going to write 0 0.04 as a fraction? It's going to be 4 over what? Not 10. Not 10, but where is it underneath? 4 over 100, because it's underneath the hundreds column. You can tell me what number divides into 4 and 100, Kai? Well, what number divides into both 4 and 100? Mm. Oh, he does. 4. 4 is the biggest one. 4 divides by 4, and I get 1. And I get 25. So 25. Alright, 